it's equally as hard living in a, in a chair when, when you were stroke, but when you had a stroke. But I imagine it's harder for you guys because because um, you you already experienced the other way of, of walking and standing up. So yeah, you had the stroke when you were born. Yeah. Um. So. So it's a 360 degree change. A yeah, of, yeah. I mean, it is. It's a big blow. A lot of a lot of things have to change. Some of them are very uncomfortable uh, to do. Some of them are hard to understand. And then you get people that don't understand what you have to go through. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, you were saying that you think it would be hard it, to it, not be in a wheelchair your whole life. To not be in a wheelchair your whole life. Then you, um, you, you go through certain different things that you start to understand and, and you don't um, have the, um, much of the experience how to live in the chair. So, so, so you, you go through more emotional problems. Yeah. So you're pretty happy? I, I'm happy, but I'm not going to say that it's not hard my way. Yeah. You know, it, it, How old are you? I'm 33. And your name is Assad? Sasan. Sasan. But you can call me Damien. Damien? Yeah. Why do our people have names and then they have different names? Uh, legally, my name's Sasan. Everybody likes to call me Sasan. Where are you from? Oh, I'm, I'm half Persian, half Mexican. Ah, oh, so where were you born? I was born in Los Angeles. Oh. In the USC Medical Center, right? So, what what's hard about being having your disability? What's hard? First of all, I wish I could drive, but I can't. Yeah. Uh, um, I have a lot of spasms, and, and it, it, it doesn't allow me to drive, especially in this country, because mm -hmm. they're very very careful with the rules and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's probably good. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, and then um, the. the, the a lot of people judge me for what I can and can't do because they don't uh, take the time to know me. Yeah. And so, and so, um, they say, uh, in, in my condition, uh, there's three levels. Pretty much in every condition, there's about three to four levels of, of, of difficulty. And, and I got level one of what you call CP. Mm -hmm. Now that's a, that's a, uh, paralyzes your nerves and it makes them move slower than, than normal so make it harder to drive making it harder to sometimes eat i couldn't talk so, so i had to learn how to talk again mm. I to speak sign language yeah how old were you when you started talking a six mm. when you start speaking at like five or something i took one more one more month so 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 i had to uh, do uh, hand therapy to learn how to use my hands again, um, and also again. Yeah. But you were born. Okay, I was born okay until the very last month. Yeah. Until so the, you said again. I was born okay until the very last minute. Uh huh. And then the doctors took me out too late, ten minutes too late. And, oh. And, and, they took you out too late. Yeah. Of your mom. Yeah. Ten minutes too late. And the ones who had to operate on my mom were the students. Oh. The doctor was late, so he couldn't say he was drunk. So he couldn't he couldn't uh, take me out on time. So my mom was too dilated. And always make sure you sign the right paperwork. Since she signed the she signed <laughs> the release form that the students can see, and 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 they're the ones who had to do the surgery since, uh -huh. since the doctor was late. And they made the mistake of taking me out too late. And if you take out 10 minutes late, something can happen. And it happened to me. What happens? Um, lack of oxygen? Lack of, lack of oxygen and it breaks, it breaks the vein. It breaks the oh. main vein in your head and then, then, then something can happen like this. Uh, it's one of the ways you can get what I, I had CP now. I like to say I don't have it. Because it's leaving, but there's still because some, what? Because I, I like to think it's leaving. It's leaving? Yeah. 
Le oh. Not there. Oh. Uh, my what? best friends have CP. Oh, yeah. Alex and Penny. They do? Yeah. So, um, so, so, so you can see different aspects of, of. I have quad muscles. Oh. Cool. Yeah. But the rest of my legs are paralyzed. But my, my knees hurt, so. Okay, go on. Um, nice that you can stand up. Uh, so. Luck. <laughs> yeah, luck. Uh, <laughs> Um, so, so you, I, uh, you can see some aspects that I still have, but, but I like to think that it's not there anymore. It helps me to, to live, to go forward with life and to be able to do stuff more. Um, but yeah. there are still some aspects and some downfalls that anybody with a disability can go through. Yeah. And has at some at some point and then they go through it and then they live life because if they don't live life they can't move forward and not moving forward doesn't help no because you still have to do it you still have to live I still, I still don't have to do it anyway like right now I have tendonitis on my arm yeah. But I still have to push myself. So yeah. I have you need some like self-propelling wheels or. I have this power wheel on the back. Oh, you got smart the drive. smart drive. That's cool. Yep. Okay, you want to spin around so I can see it? Yep. Yes. All the girls on the dance team have that. I actually got it because of the, because of Chelsea. Oh, really? That's cool. I think they did too. It's very, very <laughs> rare. Um, uh, what do you call it? Very, I see a lot of them now. It grew up. It, it grew fifty percent because. Oh yeah. What? Well, you dress very nice. Thank you. Show your Thank shoes. You. Yeah. I'm so I like your shirt. Too. Oh, you like you, your shirt? I do. You don't like these sweats and these booties? No, I, I like. I like the booties. I like sweats. But I, I can see your style already. <laughs> The way you're dressing now. Yeah. The way you're so you feel like people don't always give you a chance. They judge you before they get to know you. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, and they should get to know the person because then they find out that it's sometimes better than the person who stands up. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad I got to know you. You're a very nice person. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And that's why I feel blessed to have a disability because I get to meet awesome people like you. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. But, 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 of course, you know, we always, we didn't have it. But now we have it, and so we have to live. <laughs> yeah, I don't wish I didn't have it, though. I'm thankful for it. Then, then, then you get to live with, I guess you can say that you're thanks for surviving and you have another way of it. Living. Yeah, I'm thankful it made me stronger and that I get to meet awesome people yep. and have amazing experiences that I wouldn't have had before because I wouldn't have pushed myself. Yeah. I yeah. guess I guess it's, I guess you can see that way in life and you can see that. Yeah. That makes it better for you. Exactly.